Real-world lighting often consists of multiple illuminants with different spectra. Separating and manipulating these illuminants in a post-process is a challenging problem that requires either significant manual input or calibrated scene geometry and lighting. In this work, we leverage a flash-no-flash -flash image pair to analyze and edit scene illuminants based on their spectral differences. The scene shown here is illuminated by two light sources. The captured image is a linear sum of two images, one for each light source. This paper addresses the problem of source separation, that is, estimating the images, each illuminated by a single light source, for their sum. However, this is specifically hard from the single photograph since all the effects of individual light source are combined into a single observation. In our work, we take a step towards source separation in a Lambertian scene using flash photography, i.e. two photographs acquired with and without the use of camera flash. The key insights behind our technique is that flash image provides an image under a single illuminant, thereby enabling us to infer the reflectance spectra up to a per pixel scale. Specifically, if we know the flash spectra and the camera response, we can get the reflectance at each pixel up to a brightness scale. Given the per pixel reflectance information, we can remove it from the non-flash image. We denote the resulting image as a constraint that relates the light source spectra and their relative per pixel shading to the observed intensities in the no-flash photograph. We name this constraint as the whole constraint. The whole constraint provides a reflectance invariant relationship between the illumination spectra and the scene geometry. By visualizing the points in the resulting image, it forms as a conic hull with each vertices denoting the estimated light source spectra. That is, if we model the lighting spectra with a low-dimensional model, the corner points on the sphere is the light, light source coefficients. With the coefficients, we can reconstruct the spectrum of each light source as well as the constituent images. Now, let's see the performance of our technique on real-world scenes. The outdoor scene in this example is lit by sky illumination and warm indoor lighting from the left. Note that the sky and indoor illumination induce different shading effects in the scene. For example, the shading on the back of the chair and the highlights on the near pillar. Our algorithm is able to capture these variations and attribute them to the corresponding separated images. We also would like to point out that the same points in the far end can not be illuminated by the flash, leading to the artifacts in the results. The scene in this example is lit by sky illumination from the window on the left and indoor lighting from the top. The region of cast shadows on the wall as well as those on the yellow chair are induced by indoor lights, while they are fully illuminated by sky illumination. Here are the additional results for two light separation. The sky illumination from the right door induced the highlights on the back of the chair, while the indoor lights on top produce a diffuse appearance. Also, the scene in left bottom corner is not well illuminated by the skylight, but fully illuminated by indoor illumination. In all, our technique is able to return the results closely resembled to the manner of the light sources. We are able to separate up to three lights in the scene for the common RGB camera. The scenes are illuminated under skylight from top left, a green fluorescent lamp from bottom left, and warm indoor lighting from the top. As shown here, our technique is able to capture the cast shadows induced by the different lighting as well as the colors of the illuminants. Here are more results of three light separation. Similarly, we image the scene under the same lighting setup. Note that the scene exhibits complex scene geometry as well as intricate interactions of objects and light rays. Our technique is still able to capture the shadow variations shown here, indicating the robustness and effectiveness of our method. Source separation of the form proposed is invaluable in many applications. An interesting application of two light source separation is in outdoor time-lapse video where it is often necessary to separate direct sunlight from indirect skylight. We identify a photograph with cloudy sky where there is no direct sunlight and the entire scene is lit only by the skylight as a pure flash photograph. As can be seen, our technique is able to produce the sky illumination results without shadows and attribute cast shadows to the sun illuminated images, both of which closely resemble to the manner of the sky and the sun illumination. The vast majority of white balance algorithms assume that the scene is lit by a single dominant light source. In contrast, we are able to estimate and remove the effect of spatially varying lighting by using the Hall constraint. We do this simply by changing the illumination coefficients in each separated image. As shown here, 
our technique is able to produce visually appealing results. Similarly, we can also adjust the illuminate colors to non-neutral colors, as well as adjust the brightness of each light source. Note how our method changes the color and brightness of each light while realistically returning all shading effects. Our technique also enables the capacity in editing the camera spectra function. Given the estimated separated images, we can simply substitute the camera response to a noble function. We propose augmenting the RGB single shot photometric stereo setup by capturing an additional image led by a flash collocated with the camera. We use our source separation technique to create three images, at which point we can use standard calibrated version photometric stereo to estimate surface normals. As shown here, this leads to results that are orders of magnitude more accurate than the state-of-the-art technique. Here are more results on color photometric stereo. In our work, we address the highly outpost source separation problem via the use of flash photograph. We have also shown that this ability to analyze and isolate lights in turn leads to state-of-the-art results on tasks such as white balancing, illumination editing, and color photometric stereo.